morning. Oh, it's maybe 10 after 9. I'm feeling a touch under the weather, but I'm going to get out there. I'm testing negative for COVID, so I'm not going to worry a whole lot about, you know, I'm going to go and power through hopefully what is only another day or two of having a little bit of frog in my throat and stuff. But yeah, today is a day of uh, driving around and setting up the car and getting myself to the other side of the trailhead. And I had about eight kilometers of backpacking, so not too bad. All right, this is the Banff Mendocino Boy map. This map details very nicely the sawback. All right, here's Lake Louise. I am here. So today I gotta find my way down here so I can just walk if I really need to. There's a shuttle going to Banff. All right, which is down here someplace. Here we go. And then there's another shuttle going up to Norquay. So that's where we start. Norquay, Mount Copscomb, that's my first day. So my first day is just an easy, like, eight kilometers. Day two, Larry's Camp. Day three, up to Badger Pass Junction. Day four, up to Baker Lake. And then out, day five. Now, there is a little bit of, uh, you know, like, the name Sawback is given a little bit of leeway. You know, the Canadian Rockies Trail Guide, actually, when you read the new edition, the beginning, they talk about how they actually coined the term uh, Sawback Trail. I'm actually doing the traditional Sawback Trail. Um, when you go up here, that is generally, uh, in the book anyway, it's called Sawback Ridge. But a lot of people just call that the Sawback Trail as well. That's another way of taking. I'll save that for another day. All right. Okay, a big change to my gear. I am trying trail runners for the first time on a backpack that actually, you know, is a backpack, not the Camino Santiago. Um, I took pictures and I weighed my big Scarpa boots that I've been using for five years last night. I'll flash that up now. And I mean, the difference is significant with how much these weigh compared to those massive boots. So I think it's something worth exploring. It's, you gotta be careful with your feet, right? I mean, the Scarpas along with uh, sock liners and socks have been working. They've been working, so I'm, you gotta be careful, but with that kind of weight savings on your feet, lifting that every time, I think this option is worth exploring. By the way, trying out uh, new footwear on a 71 kilometer backpack, not something I recommend. I guess I'm pretty confident in my feet after five years, right? And I know this is a nice beaten down trail. It's a popular trail in Banff National Park. So I don't feel like I'm gonna be, you know, ripping through a whole bunch of swamps and stuff. We'll see, all right, we'll see what it's like. But I just don't do overnight backpacks and stuff. And I want to try this option out. So I'm taking a bit of a chance here, right? If after two days, my feet are in awful shape. That would suck, but. I also have new trekking poles. I would have bought the exact same thing I did last time. And I could just interchange parts. But no, of course they, uh changed up the technology so that my old poles would not fit any of the new black diamond poles. So I bought $80 mountain equipment co-op poles. And instead of $180 poles, let's see if there's any real difference. All right, first mission, down to Lake Louise Village. Either catch a ride or just hike it. It is a gorgeous day. Pretty sweet. That's kind of nice. I think these are 
This is Lake Louise. Up here, you can see kind of the tops of the chateau. And of course, you can see the glaciers and stuff over top. At least I believe that's what that is. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, so far, just a short little while time in the uh, in the trail runners with a load on my back and not too bad, you know. That's obviously a pretty damn small sample, but see what happens. I'm quite interested to see what happens with this. And uh, you know, it's it's a big change. It really is. Not a bad route view from this road. The ski hill and such. I missed it by five minutes. It stops down there. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, this is not the way I saw that happening. Oh well. 40 minutes to get here from that parking lot. That bus left here maybe five minutes late from its schedule, and the next one is 119 in about. 40 minutes so okay more like 50 but uh i don't know things could be worse get going dude obviously this is my bus but it has to go out to lake louise first and uh maybe even marine lake too Hope I'm allowed to go down here. I just trying to take the trail down to kind of the main lodge. Because your shuttle dropped me off up here. Kind of surprising. Three hours. 40 minute wait in Lake Louise. 35 minute wait in Banff. But only cost me 10 bucks. Go a heck of a lot faster if you just pay for a cab. It cost you. 15 times as much. All right, this looks good enough for me. Just gotta get down to this area here. I think that's where the main hiking happens. I think I can find the trails that lead me kind of out of this uh, Norquay uh, ski resort and out into the stuff. Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's not bad at all. Ski resorts are interesting places. That's an avalanche control building office. Hmm. What's going on? Here we go. We go up that way, or you can go down here. This is before the spirit chair. That's where those ducks into the woods. Perfect. All right, I can finally talk a little bit. Talk a little safety, know yourself, know the trail, know your gear. My gear I'm pretty familiar with. I have new poles, I have a new pillow, I have new shoes. $300. This is not something I've done for a little while. So testing out some new stuff. Other than that, the GPS Garmin in reach. As I'm alone, mind you, on this trail, probably not alone that much. Um know the trail i know from facebook that people have made it through just fine like as early as two weeks ago so the snow is fine 
There are several passes on this thing. It is a popular Banff National Park trail, so I expect it to be in pretty decent shape. Um, and I don't think there's any, no major crossings that I know of, right? Or, or they're bridged. I mean, sometimes they talk about these things, but they don't. Um, yeah. And then know yourself. Well, I've certainly done plenty of these. Ugh, I'm already starting to go through some stuff here with my legs. I might be uh, putting on my uh, pant legs on my convertibles pretty quick. And the mosquitoes are already starting to, even though I'm, I've been keeping moving, they're already starting to bug me. So it might be time to put some of that on. And I brought a lot of mosquito spray on this one. I've decided to increase my weight when it comes to mosquito spray. It's worth it. Okay, I haven't escaped the ski resort yet. They even have all these old chairs hanging out here. I might as well use that for changing things out. Hmm, it's quite the construction already. You can actually go on the road up there, so I'm sort of surprised this is here. Oh, there's already parts of it collapsing. Interesting. Maybe they'll shut this down and make it the road after this. Hold on. I'm on the wrong damn trail. Gotta be vigilant at the beginning of a backpack. <laughs> Honestly, that's one of it's probably one of the, the best chances of you getting lost. All right. I think it's down there. I actually saw people coming out of both, like I said, so, yep. Ah, yuck. Here's a climb that nobody talks about. It says nothing about it in the book. Descend a 40 mile creek. That's all you get. Huh. Maybe Norquay is trying to expand another run. I don't know, a bunch of fresh logging in here. Well, there's something I didn't know. Can't go to Mystic Lake. Sure doesn't look like it anyway. Huh, that's too bad. I don't know if there's a way to come across here, stay up high instead of dropping down and then climbing, but yeah, anyway. Here's the trail. All right, now I'm on the damn right trail. Let's go. Horse plop, that's actually, that's always a good sign. It means things are cleared. That was quick. Nice little bridge. Mosquitoes are already everywhere. I think backpacking would be like four times more popular if it was not for mosquitoes. I mean, every day used to them. I mean, <laughs> you just don't. I can speak experience at this point. I mean, I have dealt with mosquitoes a lot. I still hate them. National Park is taken care of in a different way than Jasper, that's for sure. It's kind of nice. Coming back up. Trail closed in winter. Use number one ski trail. What the heck is number one ski trail? <laughs> is there another trail down here? I wasn't all that aware. Unless you're going over uh, Cory Pass or something. Oh, huh. uh, yeah. Not bad, not bad. You see, you got a big block of cement over here. Oh, yeah, there's an old bridge. Yeah. Huh.
Get out here and hike this stuff. You don't know how long things like this will last. I wish I could say that was uh, an exaggeration or a fear mongering. On the Brazo Loop in Jasper National Park, that's actually a trail I keep they take care of. A major bridge has gone out. So now you can't do it this year. And how long until they replace it? A year, two years, right? They don't know. Berg Lake Trail, amazing trail, excellent shape. They take care of it. Wiped out by flash floods. Last year it was closed all the way, like all the way past Kinney Lake, and this year it's closed entirely. So, man, get out and hike, man. You don't know. You don't know what could happen. Hiking with the uh, trail runners. So far, I feel like I'm hiking faster, and I think that's because I feel like I'm day hiking. Hiking with those big fat boots that weighed almost a kilogram each, dry, it's like it reminded me to just take it slow. You know, I'm wearing these giant's boots. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I guess faster backpacking is good. We'll see if it, uh, <laughs> Results in bad things, but I gotta maybe try and tell myself to just dial it back, you know? This is nice. It's kind of an energetic noise for my taste, but man, there's just been horse crap. There's all kinds of horse parties that use this guy for sure. It's nice to be beside water. Yeesh, you see this nice trail and then you see this lump sticking out and you're just like wow <laughs> big rock i bear called immediately when i saw this thing <laughs> this is out of nowhere did this carve itself out of that like it didn't come from anywhere obvious that's for bloody sure Curiosity. He did the pass. Boy, it sure doesn't look like much of a trail. And I imagine you have to cross 40 Mile Creek down there, but it looks, honestly, it looks really crossable to me right now. And it's, you know, it's late, uh, late July. So maybe one day I'll incorporate that into a backpack, a different backpack. Anyway. Good time for a little break. Hello, Mr. Camera. Sometimes they're quite hard to spot, but that one was actually pretty easy. And what I mean by hard to spot, they're hard to spot before they've actually caught you in the shot. <laughs> so if someone's looking to do stuff and they're trying to get around it, usually it catches you first before you see it. I didn't even notice, but some lightning is, uh, I just heard thunder. Some crap is rolled in. And it's a good thing I'm like, I don't know, a kilometer and a half, one kilometer away from camp. Mind you, I'm not in a pass right now, so not a big deal. Welcome back, 40 Mile Creek. Look how pleasant it is here. And I'm like 350 meters away from the campsite. And it's starting to, it really wants to rain. Oh, I'm so close. Okay. No sign or anything, but I can see fire pit area and a bear box. Nothing wrong with this. Nice picnic table, a really nice picnic table. Air box. Something over there. Man, are we spoiled in Banff National Park. Holy man. I'm just happy with a green throne. Well, I won the race. The storm went north of me. I've heard 
God, 20 thunderclaps. And it threatened to rain. But now over here, the sun's out. So, okay. <laughs> well, I got my tent up. Now I can go back to the bear box and eating area and do stuff there. Why not? A little amusing that the cable is long gone. Can't even really figure out what tree it was on. They left a sign there just for fun. Decided the only way to do it with mosquitoes is to get a fire going. I know I'm allowed. Found a dead tree and chopped it in two and dragged it back here one by one. I'm not dead. Well, sort of dead. It fell. <laughs> and everything's still green, but I mean, it's a popular trail, man. Fires are still allowed, at least for now. Anything that is dry and like nearby is going to be gone. May not be pretty, but I've got to go into the point now where I can finally leave it for a while and get myself some soup. I might even have two, you know? I haven't eaten since like 9.30 this morning. I'm hungry. Might not get rid of the mosquitoes completely, but all I have to do is go stand in the smoke. And bye-bye. Check this out. <clears throat> I've been seeing this guy, but I haven't really put it on camera much. It's nice. That one. How about this? Look at that little hole there. That's neat. Don't see that too often. So I do have all trails downloaded and the advantage. Uh, Fuji. Mount Lewis and Edith. The advantage is I have the topo map that actually shows uh, names of mountains. I finally actually found uh, a sign. I'm gonna go look for the water source. I think it's farther down trail. That's the only reason why I came and found it. Very nice little trail leads down here. Quite nice. That's uh, quite the beaver dam got going on here. You can see that it's little twigs and oh yeah. You can water down here just a little bit, and then you look over here. There's a ribbon. There's always a level deeper of things going on. You know, you got these mountains here, and this isn't, well, you know, it's a bit of a thing. This is pretty swift, but it's not very deep. So, um, probably mountain climbers cross here, and then they go and take on these things. I mean, you're right close to a park campsite, so why not? Well, just before, there's the water trail over there. There's a tiny little meadow here, and if you walk into it, get some nice views. Not bad. There's me down there. I grabbed the first spot I could. Now I'm kind of looking around. Here's a trail. Comes up to what clearly used to be a spot. There's five spots here. I'm not surprised that they haven't converted this into one, considering that I am the only one here. This is probably the least. Holy crap, where'd that come from? I haven't heard a thunderclap in ages. Surprise. Yeah, this is probably the least popular campground in the entire. <laughs> People don't want to walk eight kilometers in, all right? I took it because I had nothing else. I couldn't get Mystic Junction or Mystic Lake. Everyone else got spots there, I guess. Well, this time I didn't play. A few thunderclaps, and you know, it's been like 10 minutes since I heard the first one, and it's raining. Not that hard yet, but it is starting. 
it's good to get everything done. I mean, I had a fire. I set my tent up. I eat. I got water for tomorrow. I've got done everything I need to do. And, you know, it's 8 o'clock. If I had pissed around and, ah, oh, whatever, you know. Right now I'd be setting my tent up in a scramble. Trying not to get wet. Yeah, new air pillow. MEC brand, which is something they're discontinuing. Which makes me sad because this was $27 and it seemed like everything else was like 50 or something. Well, so far so good. Everything went according to plan and I managed to bang off eight kilometers. I think I added on about two and a half more by walking to Lake Toys Village. My feet feel fine. Uh, I mean, that's the primary thing I'm thinking about right now. Tomorrow is my biggest day. It's my first pass, 20 kilometers. It's, that's my longest day. I'm going to Larry's camp, going over Mystic Pass. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna, that's gonna put the feet to the test for sure. Good night.